have dinner ready. Plan ahead, even the night before, to have a delicious meal ready on time for his return. This is a way of letting him know that you've been thinking about him and are concerned about his needs. Yes. Most men are hungry men when they come home. And the prospect of a good meal, especially his favourite dish, is part of the warm welcome needed. Prepare yourself. Take 15 minutes to rest, so you'll be refreshed when he arrives. Touch up your makeup, put a ribbon in your hair, and be fresh looking. Your husband's just been with a lot of work weary people. Be a little gay and a little more interesting for him. His boring day may need a lift, and one of your duties is to provide it. Clear away the clutter. Make one last trip through the main part of the house before your husband arrives. Gather up school books, toys, papers, etc. and then run a dust cloth over the tables. Over the cooler months of the year, you should prepare and light a fire for your husband to unwind by. Your husband will feel he's reached a haven of rest and order. And it will give you a lift too. After all, catering for his comfort will provide you with immense personal satisfaction. Prepare the children. Take a few minutes to wash their face and hands if they're small. Comb their hair and if necessary, change their clothes. They are little treasures and he would like to see them playing the part. Minimize all noise. At the time of his arrival, eliminate all noise of the washer, dryer and vacuum. <laughs> Try to encourage the children to be quiet too. Be happy to see him. <laughs> Greet him with a warm smile <laughs> and show a sincerity in your desire to please him. <laughs> Listen to him. You may have a dozen important things to say, but the moment of his arrival is not the time. Your goal. Try to make sure you make your home a place of peace, order and tranquility. Where your husband can renew himself in body and spirit. Don't complain if he's late home for dinner or even if he stays out all night. Count that as minor compared to what he might have been through that day. <laughs>